Julianne from StepSimply.com. Which step is the best step? Shall we have a little look, see which one works out the best? Or shall I just cut straight to the chase and tell you? <laughs> this is the best one. But before we talk about the best one, let's talk about some other options. Um, we must talk, first of all, about the no step step. So if you don't have a step box, but you would like to do a little bit of a step workout, the best thing you can do is just use a floor. And I have got my floor mat here that I can step up and down onto, so I always know where my step box is. Obviously, you don't need a floor mat. You can use your imagination. <laughs> and it doesn't have to be a custom floor mat like I've got. But if you want one, I'll put a link in the description for you. Next. Let's talk about this little fella here. Let's move the other one out of the way. So this little one, you could probably pick one of these up, maybe on Amazon for about 30 or maybe 40 pounds. Um, it's great because it's very portable, but there's a couple of problems with it. Um, I've used this style of step a few times, and the first thing I noticed, the very first time I used them, is that um, depending on the surface of the floor you're using, they do move. So that's not good. Um, even if you manage to sort that out, which you could actually just maybe by putting the box on something a bit more like a carpet, possibly a yoga mat, that would sort that problem out. But there's another problem. Um, let me show you from this angle what the other problem is. You know that when we do our simple step classes, I'm always telling you, you must have your full foot on top. What if your full foot only just fits on top? Now I've got quite modest feet, <laughs> uh, 38 European size feet, um, which is not very big. Um, if you've got anything much more than that, you are going to struggle to get your full foot on top. You'll need to have very accurate placing. So if you're a new stepper, or maybe you're not as agile as you used to be, I would recommend having a larger base so that you've got a, a bigger target, yeah? And you're not gonna miss and end up with your heel hanging off the back of the box. And obviously because it's quite small, it does limit um, how much movement you're gonna get out of the box. So this would not, this would probably be my bottom of the list, I'm afraid. Sorry, little fella, <laughs> but great for if you've only got limited space, yeah? So let's put him out of the way. Let's bring in an old, an old friend. <laughs> so this box, if you stepped back in the day <laughs> in a studio, this might be the, the style of box that you met first of all, perhaps. Um, I know this as the Forza step box, F-O-R-Z-A. Um, and actually on this one, it, it says the step here and it has a very familiar logo on it <laughs> that you might recognise, again, from back in the day if you're a bit of a step nerd. Um, amusingly, this particular step box has actually got a date stamp on it. What did it say? Let me have a little look. It says June 2001 manufacture date, this one. <laughs> so it's getting on a bit, and I would imagine this box has been in a studio for a while, and it's actually passed hands a few times before it's come to me. So it is getting on a bit. <laughs> so it's second hand, um, but it's really well made. It's got four rubber feet on here. So this bit on its own, you can step just on what we like to refer to as the lid. Yes, so you can step up and down on just the lid. So you've got quite a moderate height here. Yeah? You don't have to step too high. So that's one bonus for this style of box. Um, the next thing is that it comes with these individual risers and um, it's supplied with risers and you can add ri extra risers um, to your box. So you can actually make it quite high if you want to. Um, the bad news is that um, these are quite expensive. Um, so maybe for home use, this is probably possibly not the box. Um, again, unless you're blessed with lots of space, this is going to take up space. However, although this is quite expensive, this original studio box, um, you can get copies of this and I've seen them for about, I don't know, maybe £60 or so. 
Um, so look out, make sure when you, if you're buying one, you know whether you're buying an original one, a proper, authentic, if you like, as opposed to a copycat one. Uh, the copycat ones, they are okay, but you can tell they're just not quite as well made as this original studio box. Let's reveal the winner of the competition. <laughs> so, may I present to you the winner of the competition, the Reebok Step Box, yeah? So if you watched the original Step Reebok video, this is a style of box, although if you look very closely, they're not identical to this box. They were possibly prototypes, maybe, I don't know. I'm, getting, I'm becoming a nerd again, aren't I? Uh, but the great thing about the Step Reebok boxes um, that um, millions of them, no doubt, were sold over the years. And if you would like to find a second-hand one, there's a very good chance that you'll know someone who's got one stuck at the back of their garage somewhere from 10 or 20 years ago. Uh, but still available today, different colours these days, always were black and grey, weren't they? Um, with this one, you've got three height settings. That's it on its third height. I'll be honest with you, I wouldn't normally do a step choreograph class at this height, but for things like interval training, circuit training, having the box at this height is quite useful to have. Yeah, you might have an exercise that works quite well at this height, or maybe even just for lying on and doing like bench flies or presses, that kind of thing. Uh, but ultimately, it comes down to three heights. The middle one is there, and then you all the way in, and that's the bottom level. So this will be my recommendation um, for your home step box if you've got the space. Be mindful if you are shopping around to make sure that you know the dimensions of the box you're buying. Um, you'll notice possibly some of these if you're shopping on eBay or Amazon, um, this style of box. Um, they're sort of designed to look very much like this style of box and people think in their mind they imagine they're going to get a box of this size and then this little fella turns up and it can be a bit of a disappointment <laughs> so there's my suggestions uh, which is the best step box the best ones the one you've got with you <laughs> and that might just be your imagination with simple choreography it is quite easy if you like to get a really great workout without having to have a box there because you, you're just doing the simple patterns which work really really well on the floor as well anyway i've rambled on <laughs> um, i'm going to put some links in the description for you so you can have a little look have a browse of a step box if you've got any questions about buying a box do ask me and i'll let you know what i think thanks for watching happy stepping bye bye